Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Nicole. If you're old, welcome back. And today I have another little unboxing haul. Um, in case y'all didn't know, Juvia's Place is awesome. Uh, and they've been on Hot Look like twice. And they were on a little less than a month ago, I wanna say maybe three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. And this had, actually been trying to be delivered since Thursday, but they were delivering it when at 12 and my neighbors weren't home. So yeah, I finally got it today when the regular UPS guy who knows me because it runs the same route at, at my apartment as it does at my work. So he was able to, uh, he just brought it to my work today. So <laughs> I was finally able to get it. And I'm so excited because these were like, sold out. I don't know if they were still are, but they were sold out on their website. It's the Saharan Blush. I got volume one. I got volume two. And I got the Masquerade Mini. Now, unfortunately, they did not have the bigger pan version of this, which is the one I wanted. We sold out last time on Hotlet. But um, they did not have the larger one just available to buy. So, but they did have uh, the Nubian, and then uh, the Nubian one, the Nubian two. They had the Saharan eyeshadow palette. Now these are the blush palettes, but these can be used for your eyes too. So, um, and both of these were sold out anyway. But they only had the mini. But I went ahead and grabbed it because I was like, okay, I want those colors. I have to have the colors. I'm already making an order. Go ahead and get it, Nicole. And if you don't know, Juvia's Place is owned by, is a black owned company, or African American owned, and they uh, specialize in making eyeshadows and nail blushes that will show up on darker skin tones, which is great for me. Because even though I'm like, you know, middle, middle to dark, I mean, I'll get darker in the summer. Um, my eyelids stay dark, like, and I don't know, veiny. They're not veiny. They just kind of almost match my under eye circles. <laughs> so it's it's hard. Like all these shades y'all can use for your crease and Kathy Lights can use on her crease and all that. It's like, don't for me. Not unless I like use a white base and who's got time for that every morning. So I did like this. I do like the, uh, I have the Nubian too and I love that. And either someone told them when they complained, maybe they watched my video about how, you know, what, I had that one shadow that was broken. It stayed in the pan though, but it was broken. And I was, I was telling y'all it, they package it well in the box, but this box, and apparently it's with all of them, is there's too much room for the palette to move around in this box itself. So if you like throw it down and it just hits this and then maybe hits another palette, you're going to end up with shattered stuff and they did have that problem but now because <laughs> I so suggested this on that video where I hauled the Nubian too that they needed to wrap it itself and then stick it in the box because there's too much room and that was a lot of the problem and then they had it wrapped in more styrofoam and peanuts all around it and all that other stuff and I checked it out at work the only thing is there's like this big scratch mark <laughs> like down this one the Saharan blush volume one Oh, and I checked. Okay, these are cruelty free, but these are also vegan. Because I checked. As far as I know, I don't know anything else that's not vegan. Because you know, I had to watch for carmine. And I decided I'm just not going to buy a palette that has more than like one or two shades that's full of carmine anymore. And I checked it. And I was so happy because I was wanting these. They don't have carmine in them. The only, I can't get the Saharan eyeshadow though, and I really like that one too, because, but I had a feeling with the oranges it might, and it has carmine in that one, but these do not have it. They do have ultramarines and yellow and red and all this other stuff. But anyway, this is what volume two looks like, and this is the one that is for like the darkest skin tones, and um, I'm just gonna swatch a little like that is bright but if you are dark if you are black anything really um but especially like ebony that would be a gorgeous blush and then this bright orange 
Like, come on, pigment. Okay, the pink one, Zane. The um, really bright orange one is Toby. And this brown one, like, kind of got a purple undertone, uh, is Abby. And we, we're just gonna, I'm gonna, like, just swatch here because there's less of them. So good, very good pigmentation. Um, and this is Anna. Now these, I'm thinking, are more uh, either blush toppers because they're sparkly like highlights or just supposed to be highlights for darker, oh, that's so pretty, uh, for a darker skin tone. Oh my gosh, look at that swatch. Look at it. That one's Zara, or Zara. This one's Neo, and it's like a good, like, this brown has a red undertone. Um, that one right there. They don't smell like anything, by the way. Look how pretty that is. Okay, that's the thumb swatch, and um, that starts my wrist hair, so. <laughs> I need a wipe. Like, this pigment, like, like, look, I did swatches, and that's how much pigment I still have on my fingers. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I highly recommend them, like. The gurus and Nikki tutorials, they're not lying about this, uh, these palettes. They are awesomely pigmented. And the fact that so many, and I checked this after I bought the Nubian 2, all of them but the one, the Saharan one, are gluten, are not gluten free, but are, um, carmine free, which is great for me. Um, considering I do have really dark eyelids and I do go dark and, um, you know, I can't handle the carmine anymore, really. Um, so, it just makes me so happy <laughs> uh, that all these, just that one Saharan palette, but the oranges that are in there, I'm like, I got an orange here. There's an orange in the, um, it's a different shade. It's not that bright. It's a different shade in the Nubian 2. And I checked the Nubian 2. Did I ever finish that thought? It doesn't have any carmine in it. Neither does the Nubian 1. But the Nubian one is very neutral. It's pretty, but it is still very neutral. And I'm like, that's the only reason why I haven't got it. I'm like, I'm not a neutral eye person per se. I'll do it every once in a while, but I like color. Like bright pops of color. I mean, look at my eyelid. It's the Venus palette. I mean, I like color, like a lot of color. But I won't do neutrals in the fall more. Look, how pretty is that? That is Lila, Lila. Lila, I don't know. <laughs> it's a very pretty, the very warm toned, except for that one can almost go cool. I'm so excited because these can be used on your eyes too. I'm like, and those who look up that ultramarines, I, it's like a ban in the US. You're not supposed to use around your eyes, but like in the UK and stuff, it's fine. So I don't know. I heard that when I was like looking at blind crime. I'm like, me, not bothering me. <laughs> and if anybody else is also running, I'm wearing the, um, blush that I got in my Ipsy this month, the Balm Springs, which I was so surprised it shows up and it has really good pigmentation. I mean, I went a little heavy and I didn't need to go that heavy. <laughs> like I had to like really blend it out some, um, because I didn't think it would show up that pigmented and show up that well on me, but it does. And then, um, low key, um, from Cake Beauty last month's Ipsy. It's on my lips. This one is the Saharan Blush Volume 2, and it's supposed to be for lighter skin tones. <laughs> I'm guessing they mean me. <laughs> Except for that really pink. That's a pretty pink. That's um, a very pink pink. Um, like the Barbie doll princess pink. And that's a bronzer. Hey, I can use that as a bronzer. Lighter people may contour, but it's probably a bronzer for me. Okay, we're gonna go B, which is this lovely little matte purple. Like really light purple. What do you think? Purpley mauve? Yeah. I can go purpley mauve on that one. Okay, why didn't you get color? That one? There we go. Like that one and the pink one, I'm just gonna have to be built up just a little bit more. They're not as intense as I thought. Okay, this one's Zopa, and this is like a definite blush topper. Or no, never mind, that's a highlight for me. That is a rose gold highlight. <laughs> Here we go. Swatch there. Look how pretty that is. Okay. And this is Lena. And it's very pink. It's like a salmon undertone. Let's say it's like pink with salmon. Maybe 
be something. Like, wow, okay. Never mind me thinking that that was for a... Uh, I pressed a little harder to get more color in that one. Um, because I wasn't sure how it would show up. Uh, no, I can wear that one. I can wear that one. <laughs> that's what it looks like in the pan. And that's how it swatches. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going like, to like press in just a little bit more into this purple one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's more of a rosy mauve. That purple one shows up rosy mauve, okay? All right, I have a few. Accidentally dug into that rose gold. Okay, this is the bronzer. It's very, it does have a slight orange undertone, so it is a bronzer. Yeah, it's orange undertoned. Um, let's see. I have a pick I have on my hands. Okay, we're gonna go into Zola, Zola. Which is a very pretty, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous on my thumb. <laughs> it is a rose with gold flecks, it looks like, or gold sheen into it. I'm going to swatch it next to this, um, the B one. And okay, you know, it's over my knuckles, so just ignore that bad swatch, but look at it. Okay, very different from the mauve one, it is definitely more pink. And it has gold iridescence in it. Not shimmer, but like it has gold in it. It's like gold with the pink. Like Mars or orgasm kind of thing going on. And let's wipe off a finger <laughs> and dip into this towel, which is a deeper orange. a little more on those. These are just feel a little stiffer than their eyeshadows. Which I guess in the blush you want you don't want to like dip in there and like all on your brush and you can't share it out. So I, I get why it's like that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Now keep in mind it's over hair. Very orange. Very pretty. I mean, feel light handed it's like a peach blush. Um, slightly more orange. So this palette I could definitely use for blushes. You know, I mostly got it so I can use it as eyeshadow. <laughs> I have a million blushes. I don't mind. I would probably actually use it for blush too, but. And the only thing is, you know, though they're beautiful, they don't have a mirror. They have the lady up there. Um, but still, for that quality of pigment. And yes, these are stiffer. The, the non-metallic uh, ones, there's apparently two in each one that are. Or shimmer ones. Um. Yes, they are stiffer, but they're meant to be more as blushes. So I get why you would want a stiffer formula than the eyeshadow palettes themselves. Because you don't want to pick up, like, just gobs of pigment. <laughs> but, you know, just press it a little harder and you can get, like, awesome colors. You know, it looks like fall. Okay, um, does that not just look like fall to you? Oh my gosh, I'm like, reminded of leaves right now. So, I'm sorry, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> And I'm trying to get my fingers clean so I can swatch this one. See, this one was packaged too, so someone apparently passed on that little information or they finally figured it out themselves. <laughs> but hey, our boxes are too big for our palettes. That's why our eyeshadows keep shattering because their eyeshadows are really soft. And this is what the mini masquerade palette looks like. Look at this gorgeousness. So gorgeous. Okay, seems you've got all four of those are shimmer. Uh, that one's shimmer. All these are shimmer. These two are shimmer. That one is shimmer glitter. Like there's gold glitter in that one. There's gold glitter in that one. Gold glitter in that one. Um, in shimmer. So. So a very good mix. Can you tell? Here we're gonna like go really, really slow. Like shimmer all up at the top. There's two, you know, all down that first row, and then that one. Got some gold glitter. Okay. Now we're gonna swatch. We're gonna swatch the. We're gonna go ahead with the bottom two rows on this arm, and then the colored ones. So I can, I, I'll match my blush palettes, you know. Okay, this one's Giza. Yeah, these are, like, so much softer than that. But blush. Blush is not meant to be, like, uber 
it's off because you don't want that kind of like messy like you need to be able to share it out you know yeah these are just slightly softer crap I touched my arm there we're gonna ignore that oh, I'm sorry there you go I accidentally touched my arm I'm gonna ignore that but that one's a matte and it's called Burkina the first one is Giza Cairo is this gorgeous uh orangey brown with gold flecks maybe more copper we're just going to go over that. One swipe. One swipe. Okay. Ada. You know that's dad and Elvis, right? Ada. Ada. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Here go. This one actually reminds me a lot of one of the blushes. It's a little less stiff, but um, it's like a brown with a reddish undertone. And that's matte. And then we have Daya. Daia. Oh, that one's so creamy. It's metallic. Oh, <laughs> look at that swatch. Okay. I, I, I ran out of fingers again. Oh, I think I need a clean one. <laughs> These are so pigmented. They, they're going to stain. They're going to stain me. They will. It's okay. Normally, I don't film on my days because normally I'm tired on my days, so, you know, getting back in rhythm and things. Uh, but I want, really want to use this tomorrow. I don't know which palette I'm using. I don't know if I'll take a couple to work. Uh, I, I just want to use a couple. Okay, so I was on Dahia. Let's try Zulu, which is a, just a warm brown. But see, all these browns are just have the slightest bit of difference. There's like my fingers wet so that it didn't come out too great. Like, you see, like, all these are matte. This one's more red. This one's like a traditional brown. This one has a bit of red. But like more like a copper undertone. And that one is Zulu. Like it has a copper undertone. You know? But it looks straight up copper I guess. Like a non-metallic copper. Oh Casablanca. Okay this one is soft but I can kind of feel the little like too soft it's one of those that are really really soft that's probably gonna kick up a lot of powder but look at that <laughs> look at that swatch and I still have that much on my hand like I can probably like go like hey, hey, hey. see <laughs> like how many more times can I wipe my finger on my hand okay um and this is Fulani and it's another brown but Okay. So, like I would say that's more cool toned. I would think that one's more cool toned and it's slightly different from that one. These two are slightly different. So you got browns, but they vary in shade. Who knew there were so many shades of brown? <laughs> I mean, shades of blue, sure. Red, sure. Pink, sure. Purple, sure. Brown? Eh, surprising. <laughs> I mean, you don't really think that many shades of brown, but I guess you got like cherry wood and, you know, Pine, oak, yeah. makes sense, I suppose. Okay, yeah. Now, okay, so those are the bottom two rows in this palette. Let's start with these lovely color, color ones. This is Chi, which I'm pretty sure probably doesn't have the same meaning as in the Chinese. Look at that. Can you see that? I'm gonna have to get a frame. But look at that. Look how blue. It's like cobalt. Straight up cobalt. This is Molly. Should I get enough on my finger? I think it's my fingers are a little wet because I was like rubbing off the color with this hand off of that hand. So they're not like as good as they probably are on the lid. But look how gorgeous that is. It's like that's a little slightly more deeper than the sea haze in the parts of the Caribbean palette. Uh, this one's another Dahlia. Oh, okay, hold on. This is Dahlia. The, the other metallic one on bottom is Dahia. Okay. I don't know what they mean, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's amusing me right now. <laughs> oh, that's like one of my favorite colors right there. Look at that. And you'll see. Oh, how pretty is that? Okay. That blue is like cornflower blue or something. 
with a metallic gauge on it. And this one is Zola. Very light blue. Very soft. Okay, those two are competing for my affection right now. Those two, yes. And see, since I am darker, like, I, like, you know, sometimes blue eyes can kind of get away from me. I can get away with blue all over my lid, apparently. I tried it with that Pirates of the Caribbean palette, and I loved it. I was like, I loved it. I loved the blue all over my lid. Okay, that was enough on there. That purple. Okay, we're going to have, like, my thumbprint, but. Oh, how pretty is that purple? It's like the perfect purple right there. That one's the Maqueda. And I ran out of fingers. And I still have that much pigment on my fingers. Uh, let's try to wipe some of these off. So I can finish my swatches. Now my fingers are wet. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Uh, Zobo is a very pretty, looks like a magenta and fuchsia mixed, or more fuchsia, I think more fuchsia. Just not as bright as the Kat Von D lipstick in Kato. <laughs> Look how pretty. You gotta take into account, my fingers are still damp. I can't get them completely dry. Alright, this one is Calabar. Oh my gosh, that is like a metallic garnet. Or cranberry. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. You, are you seeing that? Sorry, are you seeing this? Okay, last one. Oh, oh, it's such a pretty pink. It's like that baby pink. It's that perfect medium pink shade. And Bori. And it does have a metallic gold flex in it. This one seems a little harder pressed than the others, but dang at the pigment. <laughs> yeah. Dang at the pigment. Can y'all see the colors like that good? Look at that. Hello, my new friend. This one might win tomorrow just because I want my color. But I ain't hating on any of it. Oh my gosh. It's going to be sorry, Venus, one by line crime. <laughs> Move over for Juvia's place for a couple of weeks. Like the diesel. I love spray. I love color, like, a lot of people keep talking about, like, orange, and yeah, I'm kind of, I've got kind of like an orangey, peachy eye. I don't mind the peach, but it's like, I like color in the summer. I like, I tend to go more cool tone versus warm tone, even though some people keep saying it's warm, warm up your look with, like, gold and blah, blah, blah. I go gold and bronze in the fall, like, in really warm. But I want pops of color for like summer, especially spring. Like I want the spring colors in the spring, and I know somebody's kind of like, but I don't care. I'll do them in the summer. I just like color. I guess because everything's flowering and green, <laughs> whatever, and blue by the pool. You know, I, I like color. So, like, see these mostly just green fall, and like I would stick with fall for them, except I've been using new new blushes lately and stuff, but. Thank you for watching my long video. <laughs> and if anything, maybe I've convinced you to invest in some Juvia's Place. I mean, these are on Hot Look, and they were, excuse me, 19 for the Mini Masquerade, uh, 14 for each of the blush palettes. Of course, you do have to pay seventy nine ninety five shipping. Uh, but on their site, the blush palettes are 18 and this uh, Mini Masquerade is a 30-ish, I think. And then the bigger one's like 35, the bigger pan one. Uh, Newbie and Two is like 28, 29, something like that. So, and the smaller one is like 25. Though, Jupe That is a code to take off 10% on their site or something like that. But I knew they were coming back on Hot Looks. So I was like, yeah. Um, and they've been on twice in like, what, three, four months? So, yeah. Pretty good. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed my lovely swatching arms. <laughs> I have doodles.